That I want to remind us of what's important today in this moment. In the scripture that was read, it talks about the power of the moment when a man and woman come to be married. I don't know whether you sensed it. I don't know whether you felt it when you arrived. Je ne sais pas si tu avais senti quand tu es arrivé en cet endroit. But this is a profound mystery. C'est vraiment un mystère très profond. God was here long before we arrived. Dieu était ici avant avant que nous nous puissions être ici. Preparing this place. À préparer cet endroit. Filling it with his presence. Remplir cet endroit par son esprit. Getting ready to once again pronounce a covenant between a man and a woman. Il était prêt à prononcer un engagement entre un homme et une femme. And it's important this moment because it's like Christ in the church. C'est vraiment important parce que c'est comme si Christ, c'est comme la Christ par rapport à Christ et l'Église. So no matter what you think about what's going to take place today. Je ne sais pas ce que tu es en train de penser pour ce qui va se passer en cet endroit. I want you to know that this is a powerful, sacred moment. J'aimerais in this couple's life. J'aimerais savoir que c'est un moment précieux dans la vie de ces couples. And Freddie and Sarah. You live in a secularized world. We all do. It has a way of destroying relationships. It has a way of destroying homes. And I want us today to understand the difference, definite difference, between what Christ wants and what the world will continually challenge you with. J'aimerais que nous puissions comprendre ce que Christ veut et ce que le monde veut. I want us to understand that Christ is calling this marriage into purity. J'aimerais que vous puissiez savoir que Christ appelle le mariage à être pur. The world, on the other hand, is looking at any relation for what I can get out of it. Self-gratification. Tandis que dans le monde, tout le monde cherche ce que nous pouvons avoir. C'est-à-dire que c'est ma self-intérêt, propre intérêt. But for Christ, when he's the Apostle Paul writes these words in Ephesians. 
Mais quand l'apôtre Paul a écrit cette écriture aux Éphésiens, he's reminding us that the world may be self-centered, but Christ is calling your relationship to be one where you're caring about the other more than yourself. Le monde peut nous enseigner à être égoïste, mais Christ nous a, nous apprend à prendre ce de l'autre personne. Christ is calling you to love the way He loves the church and the way He loves people. Le Christ nous appelle à aimer de la façon où il aime l'Église. The world will challenge you to be self-centered. Le monde va t'apprendre à être égoïste. The world will challenge you to simply live your life to be out for yourself. Le monde va te faire voir que regarde seulement à toi-même. And yet, in the midst of all of that challenge, Christ is calling you to love one another the way He loves the church. Dans tout cela, dans tout cet défi, Christ appelle à aimer les autres comme il aime l'Église. He's also calling you to enter into a covenant. Il t'appelle aussi à entrer dans un engagement. The world we live, perfection be without exception. Let que ton amour soit sans exception. Love your wife as though Christ loved the church. Love her as though you're loving yourself. Christ gives us that capacity. Christ nous donne cette capacité là. Pour the best of yourself into this relationship. Put her before yourself. Build her up. Batilla. Grow with her. Walk through the valleys of the mountain on the mountaintop, standing side by side together in Jesus Christ. Marche dans la vallée, même dans partout ensemble et Jésus soit toujours à côté. Never leave her nor forsake her. But treat her as Jesus treats you and treats the church. With an unconditional love that never gives up, that never surrenders, that never turns back. Sarah. Sarah. The scripture uses the word respect. Respect and reverence for your husband, who he is and who God's called him to be. Regard him and honor him. Prefer him above all others. Esteem him and encourage him. Love and admire him exceedingly above anything you can do by yourself and trust Christ to help you love him in that manner. I believe that through the power and presence of the Holy Spirit, God is going to mold and teach you that love. And God is going to allow that love to grow moment by moment and day by day and year by year. And it's hard for you to imagine now. But someday you're going to be 40 years in marriage. And I want all the young people to be able to watch your marriage and know what a marriage was meant to be in Jesus Christ because you've been examples of it all over you. Thank you, Jesus. So today, I charge you both that you are taking into your care and keeping the happiness of another individual. Because that alone is going to be the foundation that's going to give you the endurance and happy home that you both desire. No other human ties are more kind-hearted. No more, no other vows are more sacred than those that you're about to assume. 
And so I'm going to ask each of you a question before I ask you to repeat your vows. And I'll also let you know when to answer. I want to know Freddie and Sarah. If you choose each other alone, <laughs> and Freddie, I'll start with you. Freddie, do you choose Sarah alone from all the world to be your wife? Do you commit that you'll trust her as your best earthly friend? That you will promise to love, to hold, to cherish, and to protect her. That you will be considerate of her desires and your plans of life. Realizing that her dreams and goals are as important to God as your own. Réaliser que tout ce qu'elle a comme projet présent est son important aussi à elle et à Dieu également. That you will guard her reputation. Tu vas garder sa réputation. Support her in her life's work. Tu vas la soutenir. And in all things respect her happiness as though it were your own. Et à part de tout et tout, tu vas la respecter comme toi-même. That you will trust her and believe in her if no one else does. Tu vas la respecter et la croire plus que tout le monde. That you will cultivate for her all the Christ-like virtues which help you to become all God intends her to be. Et tu vas cultiver en elle tous les vertus que Dieu a mis en toi. And seek her happiness as though you're seeking your own. Tu vas chercher à uh, qu'elle soit joyeuse ou heureuse. That you will love her. Et tu vas l'aimer. Comfort her. La, la comforter. Honor and keep her in sickness and in health. Tu vas l'aimer, l'honorer et la garder pendant les moments de cette bonne santé et de maladie également. And forsaking all others. Et en oubliant toutes les autres. Keep yourself only under her as long as you both shall live. Et tu seras toujours avec elle en son seul temps que tu vis et vous tous vous vivez encore. If so, answer I do. Et si c'est le cas, tu vas dire oui, je le ferai. On a pas Sarah. Sarah. Will you take Freddie, choosing him alone from all the world to be your husband? Do you commit that you will trust him as your best earthly friend? Do you commit that you will trust him as your best earthly friend? That you will promise to love, to hold, to cherish, and to protect him. That you will be considered of his desires in your plans of life. Realizing that his dreams and his goals are as important to God as your own. That you will guard his reputation. Support him in his life's work. And in all things respect his happiness as though it were your own. That you will trust him. And believe in him with no one else does. That you will cultivate for him all the Christ-like virtues. Which will help him become all God intends him to be. And, and in all things seek his happiness as though you were seeking your own. That you will love him. Tu vas l'aimer. Comfort him. Va les conforter. Honor and keep him. Tu vas l'honorer et le garder. In sickness and in health. Au moment des de, de maladies et de bonne santé. And forsaking all others, keep yourself only in him. En oubliant tous les autres, en demeurant toujours avec lui seul. As long as you both shall live. En parlant aussi longtemps que vous tous vous vivez encore. It's so inspiring. Et si c'est le cas, tu vas répondre oui, je le ferai. Oui, je le ferai. Amen. Oh. Yeah.
as he reminds us of what brought us here and what will give you hope and keep you in your marriage. Paul says this about love. Paul dit ceci par rapport à l'amour. Love is patient, love is kind. L'amour est patient et n'est vraiment patient. It does not envy. N'envie pas. It does not boast. It is not proud. Il n'est pas orgueilleux. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. Il n'est pas l'amour n'est pas égoïste. It is not easily angered. Il ne s'enflamme pas en colère facilement. It keeps no records of wrong. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices in the truth. It always protects. It always trusts. It always hopes. It always perseveres. Love never fails. L'amour ne, ne, ne peut jamais abandonner. Would you both stand, face one another, and join hands? Vous pouvez vous mettre debout en vous regardant l'un à l'autre et en tenant les deux mains. In as much as you express your desire to become one. La façon que vous voulez que vos passions deviennent un. Will you seal it by repeating the marriage vow after me? Freddy, we'll start with you. In the name of God, I, Freddy, take you, Sarah. Au nom de Dieu, moi, Freddy, je te prends, Sarah. To be my wedded wife. D'être ma femme. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Et et Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death.
Paul Capo, qui va passer au Sicilien, des représentants de l'UPO. Nous appelons également les représentants de l'UPO. Nous sommes les représentants de l'UPO. Nous sommes les représentants de